Hello everyone, my name is Hilda and welcome back to my channel. For today, we're talking fountain pens. And not just any fountain pens, we are talking fountain pens under 20 euros. Um, I've got a couple here. Now I will mention that prices vary and um, some of these might be over 20 euros depending on when you get them. This is also the price without shipping because a lot of stores offer free shipping starting from a certain amount. So it kind of depends on whether you still reach the under 120 euros mark or not, but I still wanted to include them. Let's get into this. These are in no particular order. Um, so I'm just going to get them out and I will also be adding my personal opinion about these pens. Again, this is my personal opinion. If you like a pen that I don't like, absolutely no shade to you, you do you, and we all like different things. So there's that. First up, let me zoom you guys in, is this pen from Tiger. This was less than three euros. It is, as you maybe or maybe not can see, quite sparkly inside. Um, it's got a lot of ink buildup here. There's nothing positive to say about this pen really. Um, it comes with cartridges and I've mentioned this before in my August haul, I believe. It does come with two cartridges, but the cartridges don't seem to be standard cartridges. So I don't think it's compatible with standard ink cartridges. I might be mistaken. Um, so this is pretty much not single because it's got two cartridges, but two cartridge use only. Uh, it is quite cute with all the glitter in it. They're going for a Lamy Safari vibe with this clip, which is very reminiscent of the Lamy Safari one. So um, yeah, they claim it's a calligraphy pen, as you can see, as a pack of lies. This is just standard, I would say fine, potentially even extra fine, but yeah. I'm not hype about it, but it is what it is, right? Um, I bought it, so you don't have to, basically. Don't spend your money on it. It's a waste of money. Also, the ink dries up in the nib so, so fast. If you don't write with this for like two days, you know, you, you have to clean it out completely to be able to write with it again. So that is also not practical. So um, yeah, not a great pen. The next is also not a great pen, uh, not in my opinion. This is the European version of the Pilot Kakuno. Um, this is the one that takes standard um, cartridges. It, uh, it has a smiley face on the nib, which I don't think you can see very well because it's a little bit dirty. And out of frame, <laughs> that's my bad, I do apologize. But yeah, it has a winking smiley face, if I'm not mistaken. It is the gray and orange one. It spits. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it as is. This guy has spat all over me twice now. And um, the second time I was in my pajamas and also not panicking because I have um, Caveco caramel brown in here and it just washes out. So uh, there's that. But the first time I was wearing a white t-shirt and over that t-shirt, I was wearing my light blue cake worthy Monsters Inc dress and um, yeah, I uh, I had a moment of panic, big, big panic, but thankfully it washed out, it was fine. There's still a huge stain on my antique wood desk, my antique oak desk, which is fine because I got that desk for free and it came with ink stains and it adds to its personality. But uh, if you have like a really nice wooden desk, you don't want it spitting on it, you know? So um, not, not recommending the Pilot Kakuno, at least definitely not the European version. This was about 14 euros on pen store. I don't think they still carry them, but uh, yeah. Kakuno, ladies and gentlemen, not a, not a great fan. I was starting to feel bad because I feel like most of these pens I don't even like. Um, but the next is the next one I have is a Lamy Safari. Now I will say this one was over twenty euros because this is the cream one from the strawberries and cream series. 
That said, however, I have seen Lamy Safari in places like, this is for the Belgians, um, Happy Land. And I know some supermarkets also have them, not our local local supermarket, but others do. And um, so it is definitely possible to get a non-limited edition Lamy for as cheap, I've seen them as cheap as 12.95 euros. And then you don't pay shipping because you just get them in a store. You definitely can get a Lamy for less than 20 euros if you don't get a special edition one. Now, um, I got a medium nib and it writes very, very fine. Uh, so bear that in mind if you get one. Now, the thing is, I know a lot of people love the Lamy Safari. I don't. A friend of mine remarked, rightfully so, that this is like Legos, but a fountain pen. And I feel that's fair. I just don't like how it sits in my hand. But uh, the ink I have in here is Diamine Red Robin from the Inkfend Red series. And that comes out so nice. It adds such beautiful shading. So I, I'm not mad about that. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not something I personally prefer. And I do understand why a lot of people do love them. I'm just not one of them. Then this guy is one of my Sailor High Ace Neo pens. And I know Sailor pens are usually known to be super expensive, but this is under 20 euros. It was 19 something on uh, Stilo Estile. It has Sailor Manuel Nikoyanagi in it. Not a whole lot left, but still some in there. And this is the uh, 1.0 calligraphy pen. It also comes in 1.5 and 2.0. Um, yeah, I, I just like got one out. They have calligraphy nibs, actual calligraphy nibs, so not like the tiger nonsense. And they're all right. I actually like the 1.0 um, the most, much to my surprise, because the 2.5 pulls and the 1.5 pulls as well. Now, I have been told that it is probably an issue with the ink rather than the pen. And I will say that this never pulls. So if you are looking into starter calligraphy pens and you're a bit worried about adding the ink, this, this comes with a sailor cartridge. I just haven't used it because um, I use converters, as you can see. I would say look into the Pilot Parallel pens because they seem to be quite a bit smoother, but I don't own them because after the Kakuno incident, I haven't been very keen on touching anything Pilot. Um, but yeah, well, I have tried a couple of parallel pens at Sakura Fountain Pen Gallery and they did seem smoother than the High Ace Neo ones. But So it kind of depends on what you really set on wanting and, um, you know, what your preference is. I don't really know about the parallel pen prices, but I think they're around the same. Uh, I'll, I'll include some down below so you can look it up. Now, <laughs> this I love. This is a Caveco Sport, a plastic one, not a special edition, because special editions will always be over 20 euros. But on Pen Store, you can get these guys for, what is it, 17.95? So under 20. Um, and some other stores do as well. This is a broad nib. This is the Macchiato. I'm not entirely sure if it's like, because they have Cavego Sport Classics, Skyline and whatnot. So I don't know what subsection of Cavego Sport it is. Don't really care about that that much. But um, yeah, I just love the color. I, I love Cavego Sport uh, pens. I have them in so many colors. They come in, I think currently in like 25 colors, potentially, potentially more. So yeah, I, I absolutely recommend these guys, but I would say stay away from the extra fine and the double broad, because um, they're not very good with the extreme small and extreme broad nibs. They're also absolutely lousy with their calligraphy nibs. Um, at least the set I have is hot garbage. But the actual standard pens going from fine to medium to broad are Flippin' amazing, and I love these guys so, so much. I mean, super fun. Definitely recommend. If you, you, can, you can actually cap them and make them a full-size pen, but I never do because I have tiny, tiny hands. And yeah, I really like these. 100% recommend. 
What I would also 100% recommend is this guy. It's a Caveco Perkeo. Uh, the Perkeo also come in a ton of colors, but I do believe they don't go above medium. I'm pretty sure they don't. This is the all black one with the black nib, which is super cool. As you can see, it's very nice. It's the Star Wars, not Star Wars pen, because it came with a note that said, may the ink be with you, as a pun on may the force be with you, which I thought was hilarious. I have a bunch of clear ones as well. Uh, but again, just for the purpose of the video, I'm just taking out one. These are generally around 14, 95, 15 euros, I would say. At least that's what I pay for them. Uh, I seem a little bit more expensive at places like Wunderkammer Stadtlees, but if you just need the pen, it's probably easier to get them at places like that where they're a little bit more expensive. It depends on your shipping costs. You should always check several places and the shipping costs. Um, but yeah, I love these. I've got like five or six of them. I gave one to my eldest niece as well. Um, good show. I mean, Caveco pens. I have a couple of Caveco and I feel like, well, different ones. I've got the, uh, the, the regular plastic. Then I've got aluminium ones, which are definitely over 20. I've got a bunch of Perkeos. I've got a student and they're all amazing pens. So I feel like you can't really go wrong with that brand. So next up is another pen. I don't like, well, two, basically. I'm just gonna like lob them together. This is a Parker Victor and this is a Parker Jotter. Now, in the 90s, when I was in high school, totally aging myself here, um, dating myself is, is the term I believe. I am a dinosaur, people. Well, I used to pretty much only write with these guys when I was in high school. And I loved them. They were flipping amazing. And um, I used to get them in B nibs. My dad ruined a couple. I don't even know how he did it. But uh, yeah, when I got back into fountain pens a couple of years ago, I, of course, started out with a Parker Vector because you could just get them in the supermarket. And my husband gifted me a few of them. And I think this is a B nib. Guys, they clog like no tomorrow. You have to constantly clean them out. The ink flow is terrible, absolutely terrible. Ugh, do not recommend. They sell them at the supermarket, so I don't even wanna know how many children end up getting this as like their first fountain pen or whatever and just hate writing with fountain pens. And see, this is the thing what I keep on telling everyone who has children, Buy your kids a good pen. Or if you're looking to get into fountain pens even, buy yourself a good pen. Invest in a decent pen. In, I mean, try out the Lamy Safari because loads of people love them. Um, try out a, a Caveco, a Sport, a Perkeo, you know? Just go for one of these guys. Do not get one of those. I mean, like, look, I don't know how well this shows up. I'm going to try to show it to you. If it doesn't focus on it, I will get a picture. But look at this goddamn crack. That cracked simply by doing this. See, this is also what constantly happens. It just literally comes apart. It's, you're supposed to screw it in, but it just falls apart all the time. You just shut it and then it just cracks. This is plastic garbage. Well, this is aluminium, I think, but this is just, both of them, they're hot garbage. The Jotter even more than the, than the Vector. But seriously, if there is one thing I would absolutely advise against even more than this guy, I would advise against any Parker pen. Unless you can get vintage Parkers from when they were still good, don't get them. Don't get the modern ones. They're just hottest garbage on the freaking planet. So uh, there's that. Now, this pen is a Pelican Twist. This is the gold one. They're going for around $12.95, I think. My husband got this for me at the local supermarket, no joke. And um, 
it was, I believe, 1295, but I've seen them around 1495 as well. They're generally around under 20 euros everywhere. This is a, I think it's a medium nib. It could be a fine nib. It looks like it's a medium. Yeah, it's a medium. Um, the thing is, this is a really good nib. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this pen whatsoever. For me personally, it sits a little funny in my hand. So I'm not super hype about it, but the nib is fantastic. I like drawing with it as well. It's just 100% recommend. And this is for like children, meant to be like a first fountain pen. So I can see why it is shaped this way. For kids, this is probably super ergonomic. And um, I, I will probably give this to my nephew, to be honest. Or I will get him his own because it does look really cool. It's like really different design-wise. I do like it a lot. I have Diamine Brandy Snap in here, also from the Infant Red series. I keep saying Infant Red series, but, but that's just a series. It's not limited edition, you know? It doesn't cost you more than any other Diamine ink, I don't think. Um, but yeah, these are just really decent pens as a first writer, or if you just like funky shaped pens, this is, this is really decent, doesn't cost a lot, and yeah, would recommend. Another. Well, I only have like super cheap pens left now. Um, but another Pelican that costs like pretty much nothing is this funnily shaped Pelican Happy. And I bought this on Bold.com for the grand total of, wait for it, four euros. The, it came in blue as well, but the blue one was eight euros and it wasn't that picky. It just has a standard blue cartridge in it. Um, but again, this is a really awesome pen, I believe. Yeah, this is also an M nib. It's just really good. Um, it's it's a reliable writer. It's a good writer. It's cheap. I mean, there's so many like dirt cheap options out there to give to a child, and uh, th they actually enjoy writing with. And you can attach it to something. I haven't done it. It seems to be, you know, because I'm tugging it quite hard. It seems to be reliable, but it's just a really fun pen, and I really enjoyed it. Pelican Happy. Now, my last three pens I'm lobbing together because of good reasons. They essentially all have the same nib. <laughs> well, the same kind of nib. This is a Platinum Plaisir. I bought this for, I think, just under 20 euros. I can't remember how much it was. It was not 20, but mostly, at most places they go over 20. But, but because I paid less for it, I'm including it because you can find it under 20 if you look hard enough. So, this is amazing. Draw plastic, but this is just made to look like metal and it has metal accents. And this is a fine nib and it has a um, brown kakimori ink in it, so I can draw with it. This is for my line art. It's got a pigment ink that does not come off with water, does not come off again ever. So I hope this never spits on me. <laughs> but yeah, um, well, I say it doesn't come off ever, but I'm sure that if you spill it on a desk or whatever, if I spilled it on my copy stand, it would come off with um, nail varnish remover because that's on us. But anyway, I digress. And this is just, um, yeah, really, really good nib for both writing and drawing. But when it comes to drawing, I prefer the way the plaisir sits in my hand over the preppy. So I've got a bunch of preppy that are like super cheap. You can get them as cheap as around four euros. Um, but yeah, um, I like to put these in the holders, the pen holders, the pen loops of my traveler notebooks. And also the thing is like, if I take one of these along with me and I lose it, it's really not the end of the world. Now, what I will say about Preppy, they have not, they don't have standard cartridges. So you need preppy cartridges or you need a cartridge converter. I have a platinum converter in here. They're usually, if you go for a preppy, they're more expensive than the preppy. They're not more expensive than the plaisir. I think they start at like six euros, depending on where you get them. Um, but that at least allows you to put in any ink you want. Whereas this, as you can see, it's just a standard platinum cartridge. Well, it's not a standard cartridge, but it's, you know, you know what I'm saying. And um, it's the black one, it came with the pen. And I've got a bunch of them, so I just use them in this one. And um, yeah, 
I like the platinum, I think it's called carbon black. I like their black ink in any case. And this one is a meteor, which I got on Station Repel when I did a uh, collab with them. And this, I don't think it will show up, but I'm gonna try. This one has little stars on the nib. Um, and this is uh, colloquially called the meteor. I believe that the official name is the little star. I'm not sure. I've al also heard little shooting star. So um, yeah, I call it the Platinum Meteor because that's the coolest name. And this is basically a preppy slash plaisir nib, but with stars. So yeah, and also it has a different kind of body as you can see from um, comparing both. This is just like very smooth, very little, um, well, I would say like lines because this has more like square bits. This will roll away if you put it on a table and this not as likely, so to speak. So yeah, that is the difference between the both of them. I'm not sure how well it shows up, but um, yeah, hopefully in the pictures it will show up better. So as I was taking pictures of uh, my pens, I realized that I forgot to mention that the Platinum Preppy also comes in a special edition. Let's see if I can show you properly focuses. Yeah, this is a Preppy Wa, and they come in all sorts of designs. They're not completely clear as the other ones, as you can see. This one is one from the first series. It's got all the folding fans on it. And yeah, it's, it's really lovely. I had been trying to track it down for a while and I found one at Sakura Fountain Pen Gallery. I was super, super happy. Now, um, I will say this is printed on, it will rub, rub off. So just be aware of that. If you're gonna use it a lot, the print will be gone after a while. These are a little bit more expensive than a standard preppy, couple of euros, so not by much. Yeah, they're lovely, but yeah. Not the greatest quality print out there, as is to be expected from a pen that cheap. But yeah, I just still wanted to quickly like put it in here and share it. So yeah, that's it. These are all my fountain pens under 20 euros. Some of them I would definitely not recommend um, for various reasons. Some of them are like decent pens. They're I can see why others love them, but they're not my favorites. And then some of them I absolutely love. And um, a surprising lot of them is very cheap, very affordable. So, uh, well, under 20 euros is still very affordable, but you know, four euros for a pen is really good. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. Um, I know there's lots of other fountain pens under 20 out there, but I didn't just want to grab everything I saw um, because, you know, I don't want a bunch of pens that are close to 20 euros that are just sitting around, never getting touched. So uh, I feel I've got enough of, enough of those as is. So yeah, there's that. Um, let me know in the comments down below. Do you own any of these pens? Do you have another favorite that is under 20 euros? Um, or just leave a comment full stop. If you do leave a comment, please be kind. Subscribe if you want to stick around for more shenanigans in motion. Hit that notification bell so YouTube hopefully actually tells you when I've uploaded a new video. There will be cats as soon as I stop talking. Um, a video of very cute Kiwi-chan. And yeah, that's it for today. Hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!